Hello my beautiful darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about what I eat, what I do, my fitness routine and everything to maintain my body because you were a lot of you asking for this video. So how I maintain this figure? <laughs> so I have to say I'm very young, I'm in my 20s so, so it's easier when you're young to stay in shape. I know that when you're older it's, it's not as easy but of course ladies I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. It's just my personal experience experience and what I learned through documentaries, what my mother taught me a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to share with you what I do. If you have some more advice, don't hesitate to put this in the comments down below. So I have to say mainly I have to give a little bit of background is that when since I was young and with my mother, we always ate super healthy because my mother is super super like into cooking like I have an amazing mother and she's wonderful and she always cooked like amazing meals always very healthy a lot of vegetables a lot of fruits even though I was still like in love with some chocolate cakes and some things here and there as a kid because as a kid you can't eat a lot of things but because of that she gave me a lot of habits that also built your what you have in your guts which is your microbiome in case you didn't know I watched a lot of documentaries I'm really really interested in that because that really have an impact on rather than you gain weight or not so my, your microbiome is in your guts and it is a lot of different bacteria so you have good bacteria you have bad bacteria and the way you eat throughout your life really determine what kind of bacteria you have what what kind of microbiome you have that's the name of it and the good bacteria they help you digest well they help you have a better skin a better hair they help you stay in shape actually they help you not getting weight so even if I eat sometimes some things I don't typically gain weight I have the same shape and weight since I am 15 16 so I don't gain weight because of it and I don't want just to be that lady that brag and let's say I don't gain weight you know I want to explain to you that there is a solution actually because when you understand science a little bit more you watch some documentaries you understand your body better so about the microbiome it's about nourishing those bacteria and you want to nourish the good one it's all about eating a lot of vegetables a lot of fruits uh, it's all about eating healthy and and not eating as much sugar or as much processed food you avoid all of that you try to eat as much as home cooked that's how i eat i eat a lot of salads i eat a lot of vegetables and so the more you nourish those good bacteria and the more you're gonna have good bacteria and the less bad bacteria you're gonna have bad bacteria also can cause you to gain weight they can cause a lot of different disease they can cause a lot of different things those bad bacteria nourish themselves with sugar processed food so you want to avoid sugar as much as possible especially sugar that doesn't come from nature that doesn't come from fruits for example if i would eat at a beautiful restaurant and i want a nice dessert it's not the end of the world because for the rest of the year i eat very very strictly healthy and i don't take dessert you can make yourself some pleasure sometimes but it's all about proportion i am not really into sugar i don't really crave it i don't really like it actually there's some things that I think are too sugary because then I, th I feel like my body was used to really fresh fruit and I can really appreciate the taste of the fruit, the taste of the vegetables, uh, the taste of food really strongly rather than just sugar 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 also i try to pay attention on certain things like certain things that make you bloated sometimes if you eat too much if you eat too fast which is sometimes my mistake i tend to eat too fast sometimes if you eat too fast if you eat too much uh, if you mix things that should not be mixed you end up being bloated for example if you eat some meat and you eat carbs with it those two are really strongly hard for you for your body to digest and personally i eat more of like meat with vegetables or if i eat carbs i tend to take it with for example fish that is less heavy than meat but of course it also depends on what you're doing during the day because if you don't move during the day uh, if you're at a desk or something then yes you need to eat a little bit less but if you're doing a lot of exercise you're walking all day or you do sport or things like this you need to eat more and you need to eat carbs I think 
carbs is good when you're actually moving when you actually do things and you actually do sport because it gives you energy good carbs like rice uh, i love brown rice because it's always more healthy i try to eat a bit less also i think as human beings we eat a bit too much uh, we eat big portions and it's so much better to just let your body digest trying to eat less fast and trying to eat also less and see how your body is because you need 20 minutes for your body to actually notice that you ate food so sometimes we eat too fast and then in that case we eat too much so you need to really take your time to eat that's what we do in europe we love to take our time to actually eat enjoy your food and it's very important for digestion so what i eat mostly i eat salads <laughs> so I make some salad with some tomato, uh, I, I add sometimes some corn, sometimes I add some cheese if I feel like, some avocado, I'm literally obsessed with avocado, I don't know, I'm just like, okay. Either I eat it with eggs or fish, mostly I try to privilege those two rather than meat. Maybe sometimes I can add some onions and some garlic or sometimes not because I tend to get bloated because of it. And also mixing with some lentil or sometimes with some vegetables. Vegetables. I really enjoy it some beans. I also eat a lot of vegetables Especially at night. I don't tend to eat much actually at night But I love eating some vegetables and if I did sport before I tend to eat it with some eggs And also I noticed something is that because I work from home like with YouTube and all of that I tend to have my window of when I eat that is not very large you know you have this this thing called intermittent fasting and i don't do it on purpose when you want to lose weight i heard that it's a good thing and actually it makes a lot of sense if if you see the evolution of human being if we were in nature we would have no choice than to hunt for food and we would not eat all day long you know so that makes a lot of sense when you think about it so of course it's different if you are going to work and all of that i'm just saying me personally because i work from home you tend also to not move a lot even though i do sport okay i try to move as much as possible i go for a walk with my dog i do some cardio i do some lift weighting and sometimes also i dance <laughs> so what i do for sport i try to lift weight i work out mainly my legs my butt and my abs so i do a lot of abs uh, i do a lot of exercise for my legs and for my butt i feel like i'm really muscular on this part and i feel like i should also focus on my arms because they're not <laughs> they're not muscular at all but i need to do something about it just a little bit you know i feel like because i don't want to lose weight i just want to maintain it I, it's good to actually do some isolation on certain part of your body to have it more tone and really maintain it as much as possible so i have some weights at home i will lift them and all of that and i know it's not the most feminine exercise but it really helps your body uh, being more tone and having more muscles i also do some cardio i have an epileptic bite i have a full-on room to do sport at home i have some weights i have something also to do yoga i have a lot of different things so i love to also do some yoga sometimes i also love to dance some people would need other things to forget about their day for me it's dancing i i really enjoy it i really feel like a queen when i dance i really feel like in my feminine energy i feel confident i feel beautiful and i feel like i can conquer the world and i love any dance i love latin dance i love dancing on shakira you put shakira and i dance you know i'm a big fan of belly dance i have some video about belly dance in case you want to see but i am such a huge fan of belly dance with my mother we would dance and i love it i also think that doing my youtube videos standing up is also helping me it helps your blood circulation you need to move a little bit every day you need to move your body it's really important to actually move your body every single day so thank you for watching my darlings i hope you liked it and i hope it was helpful for you let me know in the comments down below what is your routine and what is your routine diet don't forget to subscribe and like the video also follow me on my instagram which is at lisa Heartstyle. take care and until next time i'm giving you so much kisses Mwah.